Okay, so for this test, we have a 60 amp power supply that's going to be acting as our alternator for this test. Um, this will provide up to the voltage we say. So I have it set to 14.3 volts. Then we have it hooked up to a Glow Voltage Series 2 battery. And down here you can see this is going to be the battery. So the charger's on the opposite side. If we're getting a charge from the alternator in this situation, we'll see it here as charging. If we're discharging, we'll see it here as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to turn on the alternator of the car and we'll see this will go up to 14.3. So see now the, the voltage at the battery is slowly spiking up, it's charging. You can kind of compare the numbers here. And then right now I have it set up. So when we turn this switch on, we're going to start pulling about 50 amps of current. You can see right now we are charging at a very small amount of amps, but once we turn this on, you can see now we're still charging our battery. You know, some current is still coming through here, but now our power supply has jumped and is providing 46 amps. So we're still holding, you know, our voltage is still holding fine. Um, but now what happens if we go over what this can provide? That is the point. So, you know, like when a base note hits, what's your battery gonna do? So now we're going to turn it up to about 110, 120 amps of current and watch what happens. So now our alternator's putting out as much energy as it can and we're actually pulling 42 amps from the battery itself. So as you can see, we almost immediately fall to the, the battery's operating range. We're no longer in the 14s. And we'll go ahead and, once we stop this, once your alternator's back to charging, you see we very quickly will jump back up to the 14s. So again, another test. This is just gonna be a quick video. We go back on, more current than your alternator can provide. And we get to in the operating, operating voltages of the battery. So um, what if we do even more, you say? Okay, great question. Let's go ahead and turn, an, you know, another, something else that uses power on. And now you can see we are full bore. We're providing 61 amps from our power supply. And the battery is now at 95 amps or having 95 amps pulled from it, sitting at 12.9 volts. Uh, if you go even higher. And this is, you know, a steady draw of what happens with the alternator providing its current. Once the base stops, you immediately start jumping back up in the voltages. So charging it back up. And that's kind of a, a brief summary of how your car is going to act. So um, anything above about 13.4 volts, that's going to all be coming from this. So once you start getting into the battery ranges, it's going to immediately pull down into the upper 13s. Whereas with a lead acid battery, it's going to immediately drop into the mid to low 12s. Um, hope this helps people understand.